Astronomers are all crazy talk half of the time. It's an alien megastructure. No, it's surrounded by comets. Dear children and mentally unstable adults, what you are looking at is an illustration. Please do not fear that thousands of comets are quickly rushing towards Earth. What NASA is presenting to you here is just an illustration. It means it's totally fake, bro. Nothing to worry about here. But stick around, because this story's crazy, and it's about as sturdy as cotton candy and gravitational lensing. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Hit the Button, Baby. Party dance time. A star called Kick8462852 has been in the news recently for unexplained and bizarre behavior, which everyone associated with aliens. NASA's Kepler mission had monitored the star for four years, observing two unusual incidents in 2011 and 2013 when the star's light dimmed in dramatic, never-before-seen ways. Maybe it had three days of darkness. Something had passed in front of the star and blocked its light. But what? So people were saying Dyson Sphere, artificial intelligence, gray goo, monolith, megalith. Scientists first reported the findings in September, suggesting a family of comets as the most likely explanation. Other cited causes included fragments of planets and asteroids. But now, a new study using data from NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope addresses the mystery, finding more evidence for the scenario involving a swarm of comets. The study, led by Massimo Marengo of Iowa State University Ames, is accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. All right, wait. So you're going to say somehow a football team of comets who lined up together to charge the sun and block out all the light cause this? Are you even listening to what you're saying? And it's like sometimes you guys just substitute comets in places where dark matter won't work. Like, uh, what brought water to Earth? I don't know. Maybe comets? What is causing this weird dimming of light by this star? I don't know. Maybe comets? Why haven't we been back to the moon in 42 years? I don't know. Maybe comets? One way to learn more about the star is to study it in infrared light. Kepler had observed it in visible light. If a planetary impact or collision among asteroids were behind the mystery of Kick 8462852, then there should be an excess of infrared light around the star. Dusty ground up bits of rock would be at the right temperature to glow at infrared wavelengths. At first, Researchers tried to look for infrared light using NASA's WISE and found none. But those observations were taken in 2010, before strange events seen by Kepler and before any collisions would have kicked up dust. To search for infrared light that might have been generated after the oddball events, researchers turned to Spitzer, which like WISE, also detects infrared light. Spitzer just had to observe Kick 8462852 more recently in 2015. Oh great, so they've known about this bizarre star since at least 2010. And they didn't tell us about it till the end of 2015. Seems normal for those dudes, wouldn't you say? Spitzer has observed all of the hundreds of thousands of stars where Kepler hunted for planets in the hope of finding infrared emission from circumstellar dust, said Michael Werner, a circumstellar dust expert. But likewise, Spitzer did not find any significant excess of infrared light from the warm dust. That makes theories of rocky smash-ups very unlikely and favors the idea that cold comets are responsible. Wait a second. So we haven't even thought about aliens, we haven't even thought about a Dyson Sphere? It favors the idea that cold comets are responsible. It's possible that a family of comets is traveling on a very long, eccentric orbit around the star. Family football team, what's the difference? At the head of the pack would be a very large comet, which would have blocked out the star's light in 2011, as noted by Kepler. Later in 2013, the rest of the comet family, a band of very fragments lagging behind, would have passed in front of the star and again blocked its light. That's a big comet, dude. That's a big comet family. This must be an all-you-can-eat galaxy. By the time the Spitzer observed the star in 2015, those comets would be farther away, having continued on their long journey around the star. It would not leave any infrared signatures that could not be detected. This is a very strange star, and obviously comets make it strange. What is causing the star to be so strange? Dirty snowballs, baby. Dirty snowballs. It reminds me of when we first discovered pulsars. They were emitting odd signals nobody had ever seen before, and the first one discovered was named LGM-1 after Little Green Men. In the end, LGM-1 signals turned out to be a natural phenomenon. We may not know yet what is going on around this star, but that's what makes it so interesting. Well, hot dang. And then people are like, alien megastructure? Probably not. Exocomets, more likely. Alien megastructures orbiting distant stars are most likely comets. As expected. What do you mean, as expected? I don't think, Miss Grush, you'd mentioned this before. You were like, hey, I bet it's comets. Last month, the online world went into a tizzy over the possibility of intelligent alien life lingering near a distant star in our galaxy. 
The reason it caused such a ruckus is because it exhibits strange dimming behavior that doesn't follow a particular pattern. Kind of like you. Zing. Of the many theories that were proposed to explain this, one incredibly unlikely scenario was blown out of proportion. A swarm of alien megastructures, built by an intelligent civilization, orbited the star to harness its energy. Well, that theory's pretty much bunk now, if it wasn't already. Wait, how did them not finding infrared cancel out the fact that it might have been an alien megastructure? Lauren, um, I'm confused. I mean, they haven't figured out what it is. They still don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying, people? So, we don't know what it is. It might just be a red herring, for all I know. Alright, God bless everybody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a super cool thing happened that doesn't usually happen. I emailed the lead astronomer for this project. He emailed me back, and I changed my mind, and I reduced my skepticism. I wrote to Massimo Marengo. Yo, MM, Thor of Thor News here. So if a swarm of comets are surrounding kick number asterisk, what disturbed all of them from their aura cloud? Also, star-sized comet? Question mark. Question mark. That's deep, bro. Stay cool. T. And he quickly wrote back, which I thought was pretty awesome. T. You only need to disturb one object to create a swarm of comets. Get an icy small world in the outskirts of the system, say a small Pluto, and send it too close to the star, like that guy Icarus. My girlfriend pronounced it Icarus. <laughs> so cute. Okay. It will break in many fragments on similar orbits each developing its own coma and tail, swarm of comets, voila! And that's when I remembered Ison's gigantic, like 300 million mile long tail. That was spectacular. Planetary systems are inherently unstable. That is a cool sentence. Planetary systems are inherently unstable, much like your face. N body problem equals greater than chaotic system. It takes little to disturb them. It happened to the solar system 3.8 billion years ago, the late heavy bombardment. One possible cause is the perturbation from a passing by star. There is indeed a small star nearby. That is cool. Comets' nuclei are small, but their tail and coma are huge. The tail of the great comet can be hundreds of times bigger than the size of the star. So we are proposing, that is, the tail and coma of this swarm of comets that is obscuring Tabby's star, not their nucleus. That would work if the tail has enough crap dust in it. Rocky material evaporated from the fragments as they get ablated by the furious stellar wind and radiation of the star at closest approach. More data needed to know if this will hold true. Cheers, Miracle Man. Well, so yeah, I get it now. Like, the giant tails of a swarm of comets could block out the light. I will buy that for a dollar. And I want to thank Massimo Marengo for writing me back. It's cool to have cool astronomers. I sincerely appreciate that. So God bless you and the Spitzer team. Keep up the good work, ladies and gentlemen. All right, peace out. Let's go celebrate.